The biggest astronomical event of 2024 was supposed to be the total solar eclipse, but the universe has other plans. In a matter of weeks, you could look up at the night sky and see a nova explosion from 3,000 light years away that's so big, it will be around 100,000 times brighter than our sun, and you'll be able to see it with your naked eye. If you've been lucky, you've seen multiple solar eclipses in your lifetime, but how often do you get to see an exploding star? This will truly be a once in a lifetime event. But perhaps the most interesting thing about this star in particular is that it isn't the first time that it's gone nova and it won't be its last. So let's learn all about this once in a lifetime stellar event, where it will be visible and the strange reason why this star is exploding over and over again. And a special thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring a portion of this video. So when most people think about a huge star explosion, they're likely thinking about one of these two things. But a nova explosion isn't the Death Star or the supernova kind, no. A nova explosion comes from a star that has already died a long time ago. This is a white dwarf star, the leftover core remnants of a dead star that has violently shed its outer layers in a massive explosion, leaving behind a stellar graveyard. A white dwarf star has a mass of the entire star compressed all the way down to the size of the Earth. In fact, this is the fate of our own sun. In about 5 billion years, our sun will expand and transform from a yellow dwarf star into a red giant. This happens when a star around the size of our sun eventually burns through almost all of its hydrogen fuel in its star's core. From there, fusion will still continue, but it will do so with heavier and heavier elements. This causes the star's core to contract and heat up, thus increasing the amount of nuclear fusion taking place. But all of that energy has to go somewhere, so the star begins to expand, entering its red giant phase. Our sun will expand so much that it will completely engulf Mercury, Venus, and possibly Earth as well. In other words, in 5 billion years, Earth and everything on it is cooked, both figuratively and literally. But as the sun, or any star in its red giant phase, continues to expand, eventually gravity will lose its grip on the star's material and quickly shed its outer layers in a violent explosion. It's not quite a supernova level of explosion, but it's still massive, and what it leaves behind is a white dwarf with gravity anywhere between 100,000 to 300,000 times greater than Earth's. So this nova explosion that we're discussing today, this so-called naked eye nova, is coming from one of those white dwarfs about 3,000 light years away from Earth in the Corona Borealis constellation. Its official name is T. Corona Borealis, or you'll sometimes see it spelled like this, but it's more popularly referred to by astronomers as the Blaze Star. But this star system isn't like our own. It's a binary star system where at one point, both of these stars were in their red giant phase, but T. Corbor shedded its outer layers first, leaving behind a white dwarf and a red giant star in close proximity to one another. So a nova explosion is what happens when a far more dense white dwarf begins to siphon gas and plasma from its neighboring star, slowly accumulating more and more hydrogen until eventually a fusion reaction kicks in and all of that hydrogen, so to speak, burns all at once, which causes a massive thermonuclear explosion, releasing more energy than our sun outputs in a thousand years. This nova explosion that I'm explaining is exactly what you will soon be able to see with your naked eye. This will be a brand new star in the night sky and astronomers are predicting that we'll be able to see it anytime between now and the next month. But before I get to all of that, I'd like to take a quick moment to tell you about this video's sponsor, Private Internet Access. While you are peering up at the night sky waiting for that nova to appear, hackers and scammers will not wait to steal your personal information while your back is turned. And that's what Private Internet Access is looking to solve. PIA is a VPN, and odds are you've heard of a VPN before, but just in case you haven't, VPNs will hide your IP address and encrypt your internet connection. That way you can ensure that all of your data and private information are secure from theft. And listen, I've used a ton of VPNs in the past, but Private Internet Access is hands down the world's most transparent VPN provider that I've used with a Trustpilot rating of 4.5 out of five stars. Something I really like about them is that they will never record or store your user data, which you'd think would be something that you wouldn't have to worry about with a VPN company, but you'd be surprised. PIA's no-log policy is there for a reason to make sure that 
your information is totally secure, even from them. But VPNs aren't just about protection. They're also about unlocking the full potential of something like streaming services that you're already paying for. Sometimes content will be region locked, like how The Office was removed from the US Netflix subscribers, but not from the UK audience. Which that's frustrating, because that's sort of like ordering a hot dog at a baseball stadium, but the condiments are in the competing team stadium across the country. It, it doesn't make any sense. With PIA, you can change your geolocation to the UK, and like magic, your favorite show will be available again to stream. PIA works on all the platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Android, Linux, iOS, whatever you want, and with just one private internet access subscription, you can use it to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. So it's no wonder that PIA has been trusted and downloaded over 30 million times. So if you wanna try private internet access for yourself, they're offering a pretty insane deal for my audience. Just go to piavpn.com slash interstellar news and you'll get 83% off private internet access with four months free. If you do the math, it's just $2.03 to gain a peace of mind that your private data will be safe and secure exactly how it should be. If you wanna learn more about private internet access, I'll put all the information and links in the description down below. All right, so if this Nova event is 3,000 light years away, you might be wondering how astronomers could even predict when this is going to happen. Well, the reason I think is more fascinating than the Nova explosion itself, and it's what makes this exact Nova so unique and special. And it really comes down to two reasons. One, and perhaps the most obvious reason, is we'll actually be able to see it when it happens. Not only that, but this will be a once in a lifetime event. These types of Nova events happen all the time in the universe and even within our own galaxy. But to have one close enough for us to see without the aid of a telescope, of course, inherently makes it unique and special to us. The second reason is that this isn't the first time that humanity has seen the blaze star Nova. This is what's known as a recurrent Nova. This one in particular goes Nova once every 79 to 80 years. The last time that it was seen was in 1946, the time before that was 1866, and previous observations are a little harder to confirm definitively since documenting a star's brightness was a little more difficult prior to the 19th century. But there is evidence of a nova being witnessed as far back as the year 1217. But as I mentioned in the intro, when the blaze star goes nova, at its peak brightness it will be 100,000 times brighter than our own sun. Astronomers believe that it will happen anytime between now and September. So you might be asking, what will it actually look like to us in the night sky? Will it be this enormous colorful explosion that dominates most of the night sky? Well, no, not quite. You gotta remember that it's still 3,000 light years away. Now, don't get me wrong, being able to see anything that far away with the naked eye is still absolutely mind-blowing on its own. But it won't be the stellar light show that you might be imagining. While the blaze star will become one of the brightest objects in the night sky, it will appear to us as just a new star, albeit a very bright one. In fact, it will get pretty close to as bright as Polaris is, the North Star. So if you want to know where to look to see a brand new star in the night sky, at least for a little bit, astronomers believe the blaze star should be visible to the naked eye for at least a few days or up to a week if you're using something like binoculars or a telescope. And because it will be visible for so long, that means that nearly every person on the entire planet will have the opportunity to see a nova explosion, this momentary brand new star. So if you want to know where to look for this temporary brand new star, you're going to need to know your constellations. The easiest way to do that is to use a star mapping app on your phone. There's a few really popular ones out there, but you know, any of them will do the job. Luckily, the Corona Borealis constellation is a pretty quiet part of the night sky, so it shouldn't be too difficult to spot. To find the T Corbor star, locate the constellation between Vega and Lyra. The constellation will look kind of like a bowl, and the T Corbor star is located just outside of that constellation. So if you're interested in seeing this event, it's a really good idea to go ahead and familiarize yourself with this section of the night sky so when the nova does happen, you'll be able to notice the difference and easily spot the star. And again, we don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but we do know that a star's brightness of a recurrent nova will dip right before its thermonuclear explosion. Astronomers have observed the dip similar to the one recorded in 1945, which then became visible to us in the night sky nearly nine months later after that recorded dip. Assuming that this recurrent nova follows the same patterns this time around, this is where astronomers are getting their prediction of any time between now and September. 
And I've said it a few times, but I want to drive this point home. This will truly be a once in a lifetime stellar event, one that is far more rare and special than even the total solar eclipse. For many, getting to see a total solar eclipse is a lifelong bucket list event, but most still never get to see one. Now, you may get lucky and the path of totality happens to go right over your city, or you just happen to live close by, but traveling to one just isn't a reality for most people around the world. But getting to see this nova, this massive stellar event, will be available for nearly everyone to see. From almost every point on Earth, at least almost every point that is habitable, the nova will be visible. And to me, this is one of the coolest parts about this stellar event. For those who have been watching my channel for a while, and especially those who are close to me, know that I have a tendency to romanticize the science and process of physics, astronomy, and astrophysics. So if you set aside all the complicated math and theories, you're left with simply what we can observe. And while our little blue marble floating in space is infinitesimally small in comparison to our galaxy, let alone our universe, our world still feels very big to us. Life experiences between neighbors, citizens, and cultures are seldomly shared with the collective population of the planet. And this is one such opportunity for everyone to have that shared collective experience, a reason to feel connected to everyone else on the planet. And this may just be me, but when I think about it in that way, it reminds me of just how wonderful and special humanity is and can be, all floating on the same spaceship Earth, all looking up at the same point in the night sky. So I really hope that you take the time to witness this once in a lifetime stellar event so you and I could one day share our collective experience together. <laughs>